Ovarian cancer is one of the deadliest cancers for women, with over 300,000 new cases diagnosed worldwide each year. That's why it's very crucial to know the warning signs and catch them early. In today's video, we're going to take a deep dive into 10 warning signs of ovarian cancer that every woman should know. We'll cover everything from the subtle symptoms that are easy to miss to the risk factors that can increase your chances of developing this deadly disease. So get ready to learn how to spot the symptoms, reduce your risk, and protect yourself and your loved ones. Be sure to keep watching till the end because there is a sign that always seems to surprise everyone. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Ovarian cancer occurs when abnormal cells in your ovaries or fallopian tubes grow and multiply out of control. The ovaries are part of the female reproductive system. These two round, walnut-sized organs make eggs during your reproductive years. Ovarian cancer starts in your ovaries and is sometimes difficult to detect because symptoms often don't develop until later stages. Healthcare providers treat ovarian cancer with surgery chemotherapy and other cancer treatments. It affects women and people assigned female at birth, which is a person who is or was thought to be female based on their body at their birth. It's slightly more common in Native American and white populations than in people who are black, Hispanic or Asian. In addition, people of Ashkenazi Jewish descent are much more likely to have a breast cancer gene mutation, placing them at a higher risk for breast and ovarian cancer. Women who are diagnosed with ovarian cancer in its early stages have a much higher chance of survival than those diagnosed in later stages. Unfortunately, only about 20% of ovarian cancer cases are detected in their early stages, which is why it's important to be aware of the early warning signs. If ovarian cancer spreads, it usually does so from your pelvis to your lymph nodes, abdomen, intestines, chest or liver. The exact cause of ovarian cancer isn't yet known, but some people have a slightly higher risk of developing the condition. The risk of ovarian cancer increases as women get older, with the majority of cases occurring in women over the age of 50. Also for women with a family history of ovarian cancer, especially those with a first-degree relative, could be mother, sister or daughter who has had the disease, are at a higher risk of developing ovarian cancer. Women who have had breast, uterine, or colorectal cancer may also be at a higher risk of developing ovarian cancer, including women who are obese, having known the risk factor for ovarian cancer. Let's dive into the first warning sign of ovarian cancer, which is stomach bloating. Bloating is a common symptom that many women experience from time to time, especially during their menstrual cycle. Almost every woman has experienced bloating, an uncomfortable feeling of fullness in your belly. While it is normal to feel bloated, consistent bloating that lasts every day for up to three weeks can be a warning sign of ovarian cancer. This is because when ovarian cancer develops, it can cause fluid to accumulate in the abdomen called ascites. It happens partly due to changes in your abdominal blood supply and your body's ability to drain fluids. This fluid buildup is a concern because free-floating cancer cells can move through the fluid from one area of your body to another leading to bloating and a feeling of fullness even after eating a small amount. If cancer reaches your peritoneum, the membrane that lines the inside of the abdomen and the organs within, it may irritate it. This causes the peritoneum to make more fluid than normal. Ovarian cancer can affect your liver or the vein that moves blood to your liver. If this happens, the blood pressure in the portal vein that travels through your liver can go up, leading to higher pressure in this vein which could cause fluid to collect inside the abdomen. Ovarian cancer blocks your lymphatic system, the part of your immune system that moves lymph fluid back into your bloodstream. The fluid will not drain correctly and may collect inside the abdomen. This fluid might make your belly swollen and extend outward. It's common to also have pain, tightness, indigestion and gas with the bloating. It may be hard to eat since bloating can put pressure on your stomach. You could also feel shortness of breath if fluid from ascites puts pressure on your lungs. Around 72% of those with ovarian cancer say they experience bloating. Here's how some people describe the bloating. It feels as though you're pregnant. It makes your clothes dig into your waist. It makes it hard to button or zip your pants. Now it's important to pay attention to any changes in your normal digestive routine. If you notice that you're feeling bloated more often than usual, 
or if the bloating is more severe or persistent, it's important to talk to your doctor. They may recommend diagnostic tests such as an ultrasound or a blood test to help determine the cause of your symptoms. It's also worth noting that bloating can be caused by a variety of factors, including diet, stress, and hormonal changes. However, if you're experiencing other symptoms in addition to bloating, such as abdominal pain or difficulty eating, it may be a sign that something more serious is going on. The second warning sign is the abdominal or pelvic pain. One of the most commonly reported symptoms among people with ovarian cancer is pain in their abdomen and pelvis. In one study, around 39% of women with the diagnosis had experienced abdominal pain. What the pain feels like can vary from person to person. Some say it feels like intense pressure. Some say it feels like menstrual cramping, as though you're being gripped or squeezed from within. Exactly what's causing the pain can also differ. As tumors grow, they can put pressure on other parts of your body, including your bowels, bladder, rectum, and spine. The pain may be persistent or frequent, and can feel like cramping or pressure in the lower abdomen or pelvic region. In some cases, the pain may be mild or come and go, while in other cases, it may be severe and constant. It could feel like acid reflux, a constant pain or a dull ache. This could also feel like pelvic pressure, which causes more frequent urination. The pain associated with ovarian cancer can occur due to a number of factors. As the cancer grows, it can cause the ovary to enlarge and put pressure on nearby organs and tissues, leading to pain. Additionally, ovarian cancer can cause inflammation or irritation in the pelvic area, which can also contribute to pain. It's important to note that not all pelvic or abdominal pain is caused by ovarian cancer. In fact, there are many other potential causes of pelvic pain, such as menstrual cramps, endometriosis, urinary tract infections, and gastrointestinal issues. However, if you experience persistent or frequent pain in the pelvic or abdominal area, it's important to talk to your doctor to rule out any serious underlying conditions, including ovarian cancer. It's also worth noting that some women with ovarian cancer may not experience any pain at all, particularly in the early stages of the disease. This is why it's important to pay attention to all of the warning signs of ovarian cancer, not just pain. The third warning sign to look out for is change in your bathroom habits. Changes in bowel habits can be a warning sign of ovarian cancer. These changes may include constipation, diarrhea, or changes in the frequency of bowel movements. The bowel movements may also feel different than usual, such as feeling more urgent or difficult to pass. About 20% of people with ovarian cancer notice constipation, diarrhea, or other bowel pattern changes. Ovarian cancer can also result in a need for more frequent urination or a greater sense of urgency about having to urinate. Around 17% say they experienced urinary problems before their diagnosis. In addition to urination frequency and urgency changes, some people also felt a burning sensation during urination, and others felt their bladder was still full even after urinating. The exact causes of changes in bowel habits associated with ovarian cancer are not fully understood. However, as the cancer grows, it can put pressure on nearby organs and tissues, including the intestines, which can lead to changes in bowel habits. In addition, ovarian cancer can cause inflammation in the abdominal area, which can also affect bowel function. It's also important to note that changes in bowel habits can be caused by many different factors, including dietary changes, stress, and other medical conditions. However, if you experience persistent or frequent changes in your bowel habits, especially if they are accompanied by other symptoms such as abdominal pain or bloating, it's important to talk to your doctor to rule out any serious underlying conditions, including ovarian cancer. If you're finding this information helpful so far, I would appreciate it if you could show your support by liking, subscribing, and turning on all notifications to stay updated on my latest health and nutrition tips. Moving to the fourth warning sign to be aware of, back pain. Back pain is a common condition that affects millions of people every year. Most of the time, back pain is caused by injury, not cancer. Severe lower back pain is also associated with ovarian cancer. Just before diagnosis, many women have complained of having back pain that persists throughout the day and interferes with their sleep. This is usually caused by the fluid that collects in the pelvis and causes irritation in the tissues of the lower back. If you haven't injured your back or your back pain isn't getting better with treatments, talk with a healthcare professional. Back pain can be a symptom of ovarian cancer 
although it is less common than other symptoms such as abdominal pain and bloating. Ovarian cancer can cause back pain in a few different ways. Firstly, as the tumor grows, it can put pressure on nearby organs and nerves which can result in back pain. Secondly, if the cancer has spread to the spine, it can cause pain in the back or other parts of the body. The causes of ovarian cancer-related back pain are not fully understood, but researchers believe that inflammation caused by the tumor may contribute to the pain. The feeling of back pain due to ovarian cancer can vary from person to person. Some people may experience a dull, persistent ache in the lower back, while others may have sharp shooting pains in the upper back or neck. The pain may be constant or intermittent, and may be accompanied by other symptoms such as fatigue, nausea or difficulty breathing. Talk to a healthcare provider. If you're experiencing persistent or severe back pain, especially if you have other symptoms that may indicate ovarian cancer. If you have been diagnosed with ovarian cancer and are experiencing back pain, your healthcare provider may recommend pain management techniques such as medication or physical therapy, or may refer you to a specialist for further evaluation and treatment. The fifth warning sign is appetite changes. Changes in appetite can be a warning sign of ovarian cancer. The cancerous cells can produce substances that can lead to loss of appetite, or conversely, can cause an increased appetite. Additionally, ovarian cancer can cause changes in the metabolism and digestion of food, leading to altered appetite. For some people, ovarian cancer causes a loss of appetite. Others may feel full even after eating just a small amount. Some have indigestion, nausea, or vomiting after they eat. These appetite changes can lead to unintended weight loss. It's not uncommon for these symptoms to be misdiagnosed at first as acid reflux or a similar digestive condition. In this case, the tumors can cause compression on the stomach, making it unable to accommodate large amounts of food. This symptom is often accompanied by bloating, nausea, and even vomiting. There are a number of reasons why ovarian cancer can cause appetite loss. For example, if a tumor on the ovaries is pushing into other organs, such as the gastrointestinal tract, it may make you feel nauseous, uncomfortable, or like you are already full. In addition, a tumor may release hormones which impact your appetite. Other side effects of ovarian cancer which affect appetite include stress and tiredness. Other potential causes of appetite changes include hormonal imbalances, medications, and certain medical conditions. However, if appetite changes are persistent or accompanied by other symptoms, it's important to seek medical attention to rule out ovarian cancer or other serious health issues. Up next, menstrual changes. If you have menstrual periods, ovarian cancer can affect your period in a number of ways. It may cause you to miss a period, bleed more heavily than usual, have spotting or bleeding when you're not having a period, experience vaginal discharge that's different from what you're used to. In fact, research has found that a change from a regular to an irregular menstrual cycle can be a risk factor for ovarian cancer. If you are postmenopausal, talk with your doctor if you experience vaginal bleeding. Bleeding after menopause is sometimes a sign of ovarian cancer. Anytime your periods change, discussing what's happening with a gynecologist, primary doctor, or another healthcare professional you trust is a good idea. Ovarian cancer can affect the hormones that regulate the menstrual cycle, resulting in changes in the duration or frequency of periods, or may experience irregular or abnormal periods, such as heavier or lighter bleeding than usual. They may also experience spotting or bleeding between periods. In some cases, periods may stop altogether. It is important to note that changes in menstrual cycles can also be caused by other factors, such as pregnancy, menopause, or hormonal imbalances, and do not necessarily indicate the presence of ovarian cancer. If a woman experiences any significant changes in her menstrual cycle, she should speak with her healthcare provider to determine the underlying cause and receive appropriate treatment. The seventh warning sign is pain during sex. Pain during sex, also known as desperinia, can be a symptom of ovarian cancer. This type of pain is typically felt deep in the pelvic area during intercourse and can be caused by the presence of a tumor or cyst on the ovaries. Pain during sex is a lesser known sign of ovarian cancer. Ovarian cancer can cause pain during sex in a few different ways. Firstly, a tumor or cyst on the ovaries can cause pressure on nearby organs, including the uterus and cervix. This pressure can make intercourse uncomfortable or painful. Additionally, cancerous cells can spread to other parts of the reproductive system, 
leading to inflammation scarring or damage that can cause pain during sex. It's important to note that pain during sex can have many different causes and may not necessarily be a sign of ovarian cancer. Other potential causes of pain during sex include vaginal infections, hormonal imbalances, pelvic inflammatory disease, vaginal dryness, endometriosis, a disorder in which tissue similar to the lining of your uterus grows outside of your uterine cavity, inflammation, virginismus, a type of sexual dysfunction. If sex is painful, a health professional can help you find out what's causing the pain. Even if it's not ovarian cancer, diagnosing and treating the problem can help you avoid emotional distress and physical symptoms. If you are experiencing pain during sex, speak with your healthcare provider to determine the underlying cause and develop an appropriate treatment plan. They may perform a physical exam, order imaging tests, or conduct a biopsy to check for signs of ovarian cancer or other conditions. The eight warning sign of ovarian cancer is urinary urgency. A sudden or frequent need to urinate, especially if it is accompanied by pain or discomfort, can be a sign of ovarian cancer. This is because ovarian cancer can cause the tumor to press against the bladder, leading to a sensation of urgency or discomfort when urinating. Kindly pay attention to any changes in your urinary habits, especially if they are persistent and not relieved by drinking more water. If you're experiencing sudden or frequent urges to urinate, or if you're experiencing pain or discomfort when urinating, it's important to talk to your doctor. They may recommend diagnostic tests such as a urine test or an ultrasound to help determine the cause of your symptoms. It's worth noting that urinary urgency can be caused by a variety of factors, including urinary tract infections, overactive bladder and bladder or kidney stones. However, if you're experiencing other symptoms in addition to urinary urgency, such as bloating or abdominal pain, it may be a sign that something more serious is going on. If you're experiencing urinary urgency, it's important to drink plenty of water and avoid caffeinated beverages which can irritate the bladder. Your doctor may also recommend medications or lifestyle changes to help manage your symptoms. The ninth warning sign of ovarian cancer is fatigue. Persistent fatigue or feeling tired all the time can be a sign of ovarian cancer, especially if it is not improved by rest. This type of fatigue is different from the tiredness that comes from a busy day or a lack of sleep. It's a persistent feeling of exhaustion that doesn't go away, even with rest. Fatigue is a common symptom of many types of cancer, including ovarian cancer. The exact reason why cancer causes fatigue is not fully understood, but it may be related to the body's immune response to the cancer or the cancer's effect on metabolism. It's important to pay attention to any changes in your energy levels, especially if they are persistent and not relieved by rest. If you're feeling tired all the time, it's important to talk to your doctor. They may recommend diagnostic tests such as a blood test to help determine the cause of your symptoms. Warning sign number 10 is unexplained weight loss or gain. Unexplained weight loss or gain, especially if it is sudden and significant, can be a warning sign of ovarian cancer. In some cases, ovarian cancer can cause a loss of appetite, leading to unintentional weight loss. In other cases, the tumor can produce hormones that cause weight gain. It's important to pay attention to any changes in your weight, especially if they are persistent and not related to changes in your diet or exercise habits. If you're experiencing unexplained weight loss or gain, it's important to talk to your doctor. They may recommend diagnostic tests such as a blood test to help determine the cause of your symptoms. Unexplained weight loss or gain can also be caused by a variety of factors, including stress, depression, and thyroid problems. However, if you're experiencing other symptoms in addition to weight changes such as bloating or abdominal pain, it may be a sign that something more serious is going on. Unexplained weight loss or gain can be a warning sign of ovarian cancer. This is because ovarian cancer can affect the metabolism and cause changes in hormone levels, which can affect weight. However, it is believed that cancer cells can release chemicals that affect the metabolism and cause weight loss. In addition, cancer can cause inflammation and affect the way the body stores and uses fat. Patients with ovarian cancer may also experience a loss of appetite or feeling full quickly after eating, which can contribute to weight loss. Conversely, some patients may gain weight due to fluid accumulation in the abdomen, which can occur with advanced ovarian cancer. However, if you experience unexplained weight loss or gain along with other symptoms of ovarian cancer, it is important to speak with your healthcare provider. For sticking around to this part of the video. 
I'm going to give you five lifestyle changes you can inculcate to keep ovarian cancer at bay. Number one, maintain a healthy weight. Being overweight or obese increases the risk of ovarian cancer, so maintaining a healthy weight through diet and exercise is important. Number two, don't smoke. Smoking has been linked to an increased risk of ovarian cancer, so quitting smoking or never starting is a good way to reduce the risk. Number three, birth control. Women who use birth control pills have a lower risk of ovarian cancer than those who have never used them. Number four, family history. Women with a family history of ovarian cancer or certain genetic mutations should consider genetic counseling and testing to determine their risk. Number five, Regular checkups. Regular gynecological exams can help detect ovarian cancer early. Ovarian cancer is a serious health issue that affects many women around the world. It's important to be aware of the early warning signs and to seek medical attention if you experience any persistent or unexplained symptoms. I encourage you to share this video with your friends and family to raise awareness about ovarian cancer and the importance of early detection. By sharing this information, you could help save a life. And please don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thank you for watching and stay 